Welcome to 4219 Whisper Woods Circle in Stone Creek, Valdosta, Georgia. This is going to be a lengthy video, so maybe pause and get you a cup of coffee if you want. It's really two different living areas, so we'll focus on both. So first of all, we're outside, right? Two stories, great two stories, well used square footage, all brick. And we'll take a quickie peek here, this driveway, see how it expands out. You have all of that parking there, as well as three full car garage. All right, so first we'll explore the first floor. It's a pleasure to list a house that has been so very well maintained. When you come in the front door, You'll note your foyer entrance, that beautiful staircase leading to the second floor. Let's veer to the left. Here is a formal living area or a den. Note the hardwood floor as we go into the formal dining room. with a big, beautiful triple window with the arch overhead. I hope you noted how all of the windows have that beautiful finish with the arch above. And here is your kitchen. Granite countertops, beautiful tea stained finish. All the appliances are new and here for you. You have a closet pantry as well as all of these built-ins here, just an enormous amount of countertops and storage. See that lazy Susan there? And here is your breakfast nook with this marvelous piece, a built-in china cabinet, butler's pantry. Tall ceilings all around. These wonderful windows, lots of natural sunlight. And here is your great room, two stories high with a vault and beautiful woodwork, wood-burning fireplace. Let me get in the corner so you can see how this all connects to each other. Little camera focus, there you go. And up there, take a look at that marvelous balcony to take a look at what's going on on the first floor. But before we go up to the second floor, let's finish out our tour here. So you've got the great room, the breakfast nook, the kitchen through that room, the formal dining room leading to formal living room, den. Here are two closets. Here is the first floor full bath with a beautiful counter there and granite for the sink and your bath shower combo. And I'm standing in the doorway of a first floor bedroom, flex room, whatever you'd want it to be. Again, look at all those beautiful windows looking out front. Here's how it connects to the foyer with these glass French doors. There is a closed closet. You could transform this with an ensuite bath into a first floor bedroom. And right here is a door to the garage. So however you would want to use this room, it is ready for you. Let's take a quick look at the garage while we're here. Three cars. And that door there connects to your breakfast nook. So this is our first floor. Now we're going to go up to the second floor where you actually have a split floor plan. You have 
three guest bedrooms and a full bath, separated from the master bed and bath by a good length of hallway, even though they are all on the second floor. So here we are pretty much in the middle of things, and we're going to curve around to the right. Here's the marvelous closet in the hall. If you recall, this is looking down onto the great room. And here is your master suite. Come on, little camera. Let's come closer and see if it can focus. There we go. Beautiful crown molding, tray ceiling, very large and spacious. Behind this first door is an attic. However, it can easily be converted if you want even more heated and cooled space. Right now, it's a fantastic place to store items. And here is your master bath. Granite countertops again, two separate sinks, lots of storage, that fabulous cupboard in between, very large jetted tub, and the shower, double headed, good corner storage and a box in the wall and a built-in seat. Around here, a good sized walk-in closet with some shelves and a private water closet. Another linen closet, double door linen closet. This house has so much storage. Now, as we walk down the hall on the second floor, here you have your laundry. How handy is that? Right here where you need it, you don't have to trudge up and down the steps once. With some cabinets that are built in, that is an ironing board there in the wall. And here we are at the stairs. We're going to continue down this hall. And here are your three guest bedrooms on the second floor. Here's your first one with a walk-in lighted closet. Here is your full bath. See that wonderful linen closet there? Lots of storage. And then at the very end of the hall, here is your second guest bedroom. Look at all those windows looking out on the back. And again, a lighted walk-in closet and your final guest bedroom. So all in all, you have four guest bedrooms, three on the second floor, very separated, note the walk-in lighted closet, very separated from the master. And then on the first floor, you have that flex room that is created to be a bedroom, if you so desire. So here we are, we're walking down the hall, see how separated it is to get to the master. All right, back down the stairs, and we'll check out the backyard. This is definitely a nature lover's property out in the back. Here we are in the kitchen. One more look. Breakfast nook. Great room. Open patio in the back. What do you think of that? <laughs> Good.
going to step down these steps into the grass. Your property line is actually on the other side of a small creek. We're just going to walk straight back here on your land. That creek pours out into the pond. How beautiful does that look? At this time of year, there's an abundance of water lilies. It is so peaceful here. You definitely get the feeling that you're away from it all. Forty-two nineteen, Whisperwood Circle.